The most well-known forms of outflows from our reservoirs are the normal releases from the dams that send water downstream. But there's another form of outflow that claims substantial volumes of water during the summer months. We've written about it before on this blog, but this video is an attempt to capture visually the significance of this invisible outflow. Evaporation and transpiration account for no small amount of water loss, especially in July, August, and September. Now we are familiar with the process of evaporation. In the Savannah River Basin alone, evaporation accounts for billions of gallons of water per day, even in the winter. Evaporation over the three reservoirs can be as much as a staggering 1,200 cubic feet of water for every second. Now that's a substantial part of overall outflows. Transpiration, on the other hand, may not be as familiar to us. Simply put, it is water absorbed and evaporated by trees and vegetation. These trees and vegetation absorb water up from the soil and then release water vapor through small pores called stoma. To illustrate this, we'll tie a plastic bag around this tree branch and watch the water collect on the inside of the bag over the course of the day. The amount of water transpired depends on the size and the number of plants and trees. For example, a large oak tree can transpire more than 40,000 gallons of water per year. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours and here we are back at our sample tree. You can see how fogged up this bag is and how the water droplets have gathered near the bottom. The tree basically sweated out this water that it absorbed up from the soil. Now just as we drink water to maintain our bodies and perspire when it's hot, the vegetation around us transpires water in a comparable biological process. Evaporation and transpiration is something you may not have considered when you think about the outflows to our lakes, but it is a real contributing factor to the reservoir levels, especially in the summer.